I'm here today at Lotus Land with Amy Merrick from Brooklyn, New York. Just witnessed a fabulous presentation on design and table setting, and today I want to chat with you. Now, I was interested to hear you say that the floral design was just the beginning, that it's actually to set an environment. What got you started in floral design in this environment setting? Well, um, before I was a floral designer, I actually worked as a prop stylist in New York. So I worked a lot with tabletops and did a lot of um, styling for different magazines like Gourmet. And so I feel like I have always been really interested in not just flowers, but um, creating whole beautiful settings. So it, it was really like a natural um, progression for me, I feel like. You know, I loved it too with the candles. You said a minimum, absolute minimum of 10 votives. And I'll have to tell you, I always travel with a bag of votives when we go. And that's the first thing I set out. So what types of candles do you love the most? Well, I really love a mix. So I especially love taper candles like we have over here because I, I feel like they're like the most romantic kind of candle and they um, give you a lot of light at different heights so that way if you just have only votives it's a lot of low lighting but if you have a taper candle it'll um, light someone's face and then as the night goes on just kind of drip down in a, in a really evocative way. How luscious. Now the flowers you chose to work with here in the oranges and yellows, kind of a sunset palette, would go incredibly well with the Pantone color of the year. How do you feel about Marsala? Do you think that'll be worked into your designs? Yeah, I'm actually really excited that the Pantone color of the year is a, yellow, a color that actually works with flowers because I feel like the past few ones have um, not been something that really makes sense with what I do. So Marsala is kind of like a deeper, richer, earthy kind of mix between um, like a wine and a brown. So I'm really excited to see uh, it come through in my work, especially in fall palettes. I feel like that it's going to be really special. Fabulous. Thank you so much for taking time to talk with us today. And make sure you watch Amy Merrick. She's going to be out there and making a difference in the flower world.